Gender ambiguity! Who knows what sound I played? <laughs> I have no idea, so I'm waving my arms around in complete silence. Thumbs up for that. I'm actually feeling pretty good here, considering how much I did. I mean, it's not good, good, but compared to other days, it's not bad. So thumbs up on that. My fan is not on in the window, though it should be. It's going to get into the high 70s today. And things are not really open out there, but uh, my housemates will be coming by again. So thumbs up for that. And I'll talk a little bit about that. It is 8.15. This is going to be a late video today, but only because I'm editing and rendering it. I mean, recording at 8.15, not because anything horrible happening. But stuff has been happening, and I wanted to talk about some of that on my list. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did not write this down, but my housemates came by yesterday. I actually came by the day before, partly, spent a couple hours, and then yesterday they spent a lot of time moving a lot of stuff. It is very, very empty and looking sad downstairs, so they are probably going to be here, well, I mean, they are going to be here at some point today to do more work, and then, so it's going to be wild and crazy. But the thing that makes me sad and it really does, it makes me actually sad. I had tears in my eyes thinking about this last night, which is foolish. They are rehoming the guinea pigs today. There is somebody they've been in contact with that has a room set aside for guinea pigs. They have three. So these two guinea pigs here will be going into a colony and becoming a colony of five. That is good for guinea pigs. They need to have more of them around. They are herd creatures. And the more of them around, the better they are mentally. So the fact that there's only been two of them and there's going to, they're gonna be moving into a herd, that's good. And they need more space, so that's good. And they need someone better to take care of them than me, even though I've been doing my best, so that's good. But I've gotten so used to taking care of them that it just... I'm really sad. Almost to the point of crying because I was so sad. So yay on that. But they're going to a good place with someone who can give them the care that they need. So that's a good thing. Thumbs up on that. But the rest of my list here, I'm going to talk real quick on this part first. Uh, well, I'm going to jump in and talk about this. I was on Facebook and got reminded. I talk with some people. I, I'm on Facebook primarily for the connections that I make and the people that I talk to. And some people that I talk to are only on Facebook. So you go where the connections are. Some one person I was talking with this morning, hi Jason, was talking about how my voice is deeper in my older videos. Well, that reminds me again that it's not that my voice is deeper or lighter, it's how I, I do my voice. And right now I'm trying to relax so that my voice gets down to what my normal voice is. Because I have learned through the years, especially during the time when I, when I was married to my wife, she had a lot of nerve damage and so she could not hear well. And when I spoke with my normally deep voice, she just could not hear me. When I was talking like this, the tones were just too low for her to really be able to understand. And so rather than speak with what is my normal and more natural deep speaking voice, when I actually am able to relax my chest properly. So I try not to speak with a, my more natural deeper voice. This is right now deeper than I normally would speak but still the point is that this is closer to what my natural voice is than what I crank my voice up to so that people can hear me when I tightened up my chest and constricted my wife could hear me better I've been working in healthcare had been working in healthcare since 1989 with geriatric people who needed to also be able to hear me. So I have cranked up my voice for decades. 
I don't even really know what my natural voice is anymore because this isn't my natural voice. This higher pitched people being able to hear me register is not my natural voice, except I've done it for so long that I naturally crank it up to this register instead of just relaxing and letting my voice get down to a more natural deep tone. So if this is the voice closer to the voice that I have when I'm not cranking up the constriction to bring my voice up, up here and, and lighter in tone with constriction than down here and more relaxed. <clears throat> but I tend not to do this one because I've done this one for so long that I just naturally do this one out of habit. Which one is my natural voice? I don't know. So I'm probably just going to be make, uh, switching between the two of them whenever I notice that my voice has gotten cranked up to here again instead of more down here. So yay on that. But I'm going to come back to other things that I'm, I want to talk about like Blizzard after I first talk about status update on what is going on with the move. First, Jesse Koskinen mentioned it looks weird with my bookcases empty. You think it looks weird from your end. <laughs> I am used to, think, well, I am used to because routine and habit and I am slow to change and physical changes are difficult for me to adapt to. So this is rough and putting all my all my, it hasn't done that for like, all morning and now so joy but putting all my stuff away all these things in boxes and everything is getting tucked up it's ah oh, ah oh, I don't like it yesterday that USB thing was just disconnecting so much I finally googled up my USB port keeps disconnecting and reconnecting so it said one of the things you can do on Windows 10 is you need to reinstall your universal USB drivers. Look for this drive, uninstall, restart, because you know, when you uninstall drivers that Windows says it needs, it will reload them. And so uninstall it, restart, because restarting rather than just rebooting it flushes everything out so that it can start from scratch. So that had taken care of it until, of course, this morning. This isn't the first time. It has done it periodically since then. But compared to how often it had been doing it before, it is a thousand percent better. So it sucks that it still does it, but uh, thumbs up. But status update. I did not get a whole lot of stuff boxed up and all that yesterday. I did some, but I didn't do a lot. And I did a whole lot more walking than I would have wanted. So after vlogging yesterday, I talked to my housemates because they showed up to do stuff. They were going out to get storage. It's on the way to Walmart is where they were going to this storage place. They went there, 10 by 10 unit, 120 bucks guy was very reasonable if they needed more space he was willing to give them a, not give but give them another rent them another unit at the same price that he was giving them there if they needed it so I needing a, a space walked over there to talk to them and see the units and see about getting it and they are nice units and it's a nice place and so I signed the paperwork, mentioned that I had, you know, that my housemates had gone, ah, oh, I can't twist my arms to do it, get the pointing right. I had mentioned that my housemates were just there and he went, oh, and gave me the same rate. The normal rate is about 10 bucks higher. So I got it about 10 bucks less than the normal rate because I had mentioned my housemates. And so I've got a 10 by 10 unit out there. It should fit all my stuff stacking. So that's good. 
I've already paid for it. Am I going to have anything there for September? No. I got to walk out there and put the lock on the unit like today at some point. They close at like 8 p.m. So you got to get there before that. But I got to get the lock on my unit and I'm rather than make many trips with vehicles, especially if I have to rent a U-Haul for a trip, we're just going to do it all on one day. Now my sister is still helping me. She contacted a church in town where they do service. Like it's when the Mormon church sends out their missionaries, a lot of the time what they do is they won't just say, we would like to talk to you about this, 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 and this is also, can we do anything for you? Because a big part of like the Mormon church is, well, they don't call themselves Mormons anymore, saints, but is doing service. And so they will ask if they can help so they can do service to fulfill their obligations to everything. And so then many churches will do that. And if you're a part of a church, you know that. So thumbs up. But my sister contacted a church that does that. And on the 29th of this month at about 10 o'clock in the morning, provided I have the vehicle, <laughs> apparently they'll even give me a ride there to get it. So that's good. But they're going to help move all my stuff out of here, including my very heavy electric bed mechanical electric bed with a huge motor on the bottom of the frame so the frame is freaking heavy and it is a gigantic foam mattress so it's heavy and they're going to move it all into the truck and then move it from the truck to the unit thumbs up for that so i'm going to be out of here on the 29th i gotta find a place to sleep on the 29th so that uh on the 30th it's there's nothing here nothing and no one so things are moving Hopefully the tiny unit is going to be open. I need also need to go buy more tubs and I got to get rid of more stuff. I, I have so many blankets. Even after I got rid of a lot of them, I still have so many blankets. Some of them I want to, I want to and have to, I don't have to, but want to keep because I got one of them because online people who do blankets for veterans saw one of my videos like 2015 sent me one of their blankets for free it's a nice blanket and because of the thought behind it i want to keep it so stuff like that's happening and that is the movement update check in the time it is 12 minutes now what else do i have on here i want to talk about this one for a while Blizzard, especially, is not the company that it used to be ages back. I just watched half of a video on them, and along with what I'd seen before, I mean, if you study anything about Diablo 4 or Diablo Immortal, either of those games, <clears throat> apparently there were like 9,000 person teams. Really, literally, 9,000 people to make the game. But when you look at it, you see they didn't use 9,000 people just to do all that game stuff. When you take a look at all the predatory monetization they have, how deep the, the nasty predatory systems go. I mean, they're not just surface level. You take a look and they go, okay, if we do this, it'll cause this, it'll do 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 this. Everything is calculated to suck your wallet dry. They're talking about battle passes. Every other game out there that has battle passes, you play the battle pass, you earn cash, you've earned enough that you can buy the next season battle pass. With Diablo 4, you get a bit of cash with the thing, you grind, you come up two coins too short to get the battle pass. So you have to buy coins to buy the battle pass. So you're going to buy several thousand coins because they don't sell them in increments of one or two, which is like a handful of cash. Well, now you got a handful of cash, so you might as well spend it. But if you try and do that, what you got left is either going to be leaving you with just enough that it's going to weigh on your mind, but not enough you can spend it, or it's going to leave you with 
just enough that you can almost buy something. And right now they've got a new thing that eats up your inventory, but they don't give you inventory space. And they throw these at you to eat up your inventory, but they'll sell you some inventory space. And when you take a look at all of the things that they have that increments on each thing that you can get, it's an entire page of what eat all of the things that can happen like, you know, damage against werewolves, damage against shapeshifters, damage against lycanthropes, damage against weird boars, damage against weird this. All of that when it could be in a different game, damage against shapeshifters. But when they break it up like that and slowly increment each tiny piece, that's just the shapeshifters part. Incremental damage is small text, two columns that was being shown and it's insane because there's another two columns of other tiny increments that aren't damaged. And they increment them slowly. But you can buy things to increase that. It's deep, deep, deep. And the sad part of course is they're saying in six months our 9,000 person team will come out with an option to increase your inventory by another tab. But apparently on the modding scene, there's one person who made a mod that uh, gets rid of the issue entirely. So it's not a, oh, the game is a problem. It's, well, we need to milk you for six months first. Then we'll make a tiny incremental change. Blizzard is not the company it used to be. With the whole Warhammer 3 reforged, it was supposed to be this really good thing. And the news is behind the scenes, corporate just cut the budget entirely because they figured they weren't going to make any money on it anyway. So why spend any money on it, which made nobody want to buy it afterward, which self-fulfilling prophecy. So thumbs up on that. And at the time, 17 minutes, what else do I have on here? <laughs> I am still playing Halls of Torment. I am still making uh, achievements. Some of them are like everybody gets these. Some of them are they're gotten because a new thing has come out with a new land and new uh, achievements and such for it. And I was just there first and others are because I am hyperfixating on it. Oh, just as a quick aside on hyperfixation, when I was given my code to open up the door, it used to be when I tried to learn numbers after my wife had died, I could, on a five digit thing, I had to look down and enter things on a one by one because I had to look at the one digit, enter it, look at the second digit, enter it, look at the third digit because I couldn't remember it. I had all my hyperfixation powers going hard yesterday when he showed me the number, the five digit number that you have to enter into the system so you can have the gates open up and have the doors open. I looked at that digit, that digit, that stream of digits, five digits, and I never had to look at it again. It was burned into my head. I've looked at it once. I still have it memorized now. I do not need to look at the paper. It's gonna change in time, of course, but for right now, I my hyperfixation just went Wow and then I think I scared my kitty. <laughs> and it just burned it into my skull. Amelia, I'm sorry. Oh poor kitty. Yay. So the only thing else, thing else I really have on here is just uh, <coughs> dragging my voice back down because I was talking about stuff. What is my normal voice anymore? I have no idea. But there is a, a well, gosh golly, gee whiz, there really isn't move, time for that. So really quick, my Creativeverse video was cut up into two videos because the other night I had set the video to render my 40 minute video to render overnight. When I woke up, it had crashed it halfway through. 
So I kept trying to render it and make changes because it kept crashing to the point that it would make it to 40%. <clears throat> and I had my taskbar open so I could watch it and make sure it was there. And it would get to 40 something and then bling, off the taskbar because it just crashed so hard it's it killed itself gone off the task manager just stopped rendering and killed itself there was nothing i could do so finally at the very end i cut it in half and it rendered is the second half going to render it always crashed at the halfway point so was it the second half of the video that was bad or just the whole thing that was just uh, uh, wrong place, wrong time, wrong video? I'm hoping part two is going to render. Here's hoping. And of course, I am sorry I no longer have any ability to put any of my Patreon patrons up here on any list. I am so very, very sorry. I'm going to have to get a new whiteboard. I was taking a look at the one I had after I dragged the whole contraption down. And the whiteboard itself, it's gotten banged up and smashed. It's, it's best if after I've gotten moved in, I just get a non-beat-up whiteboard with some new thingies to write with because those have been drying out. So... Thank you, each and every one of my Patreon patrons. Without your help, I and my aging pet would be in very bad shape. So, thank you, each and every one of you. It is appreciated. Whether you're a Patreon patron, whether you have donated in the past to my PayPal, whether you have donated to my GoFundMe, what, no matter what you have done, whether it is even a comment, thank you so very much. It is appreciated from I and my aging pet. Thank you. Now I'm going to go through and thank each and every person that has left me comments in the 24 hours. There we go. Uh, if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. And even though you're going to see me count in American Sign Language, that's just stemming. I don't really pay attention to it anymore. So, yay. Jesse Koskin, and good to see you in the comments. And yeah, it's weird and sad that my, my shelves are empty. But hopefully things are going to be for the best. I mean, like it or not, it, uh, I got to go. Sean Weibert? Thumbs up, thank you. And oh my gosh, yeah, Creativerse has really changed a lot. And then we have J-A-Y-Y, greatly appreciate. Good to see you. And the Orc Lord, thumbs up, thank you much. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, oh my gosh, Creativerse, it's good. It's, it's a Minecraft clone, but it's fun. It's good. And then we have all together fit and proper who says horrible reaction. You didn't even try to listen. Uh, which was for Green Day, Jesus of Suburbia, who, you know, good point. I had severe undiagnosed ADHD back then. So, yeah. And then there was something inside Rillick saying, you know, you, you didn't really watch the video when I was watching a video. And so I answered back saying, well, yeah, I had severe ADHD. Larry from space, thumbs up. Good to see you. Blue toe, greatly appreciated. And even 170 feet of square space, which is really, really tiny. I mean, it's like half the size of this room here at best. It's bad. It's better than being homeless. And then there is user MF. Thumbs up. Thank you. Flora Mew. Always good to see you in the comments. And I'm going to... it. There's mail. And I'm going to have to do all that stuff as soon as I figure it all out too. And yeah, dark humor and anti-humor. I mean, I find the weirdest thing. It's why I go to the Reddit thing you know, bone hurting juice on my own. And then there's a couple of them like Comedy Heaven where it's like memes that are so unfunny by people who tried to make them funny that they're funny because they're not. Anti-humor and exceptionally dark humor. I don't know why, but it's awesome. <laughs> and then there's Adrian Bryan, who if I went and stated that it's a billion years that our son will die, then it was a misstatement because our son will be baked dry in a million years, billion years, and in five billion years, our son will sink down into white dwarf status. So, 
Our star is almost dead. We'll never see it die. <laughs> Five billion years? Hoping smokes. Then there's the Observer. Thumbs up and thank you. ZRX. Greatly appreciated. And that is it. Each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, and dealing with real people. Thumbs up. Thank you much. It is appreciated. So, yay. Today, I'm honestly going to take it easy, except for the going through the stuff in here, going through the stuff in the other place, figuring out what I'm going to do with with things. So, yay. But, hopefully you can get done the things that you want to get done. That would be good. A very, very awesome thing indeed. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very good thing. It's nice being able to wave my arms around like I just don't care. <sighs> like I just don't care. Hopefully, they're going to stay feeling this good all day. I mean, again, it's like a three, a high three on the zero to ten scale, but that's better than what I've been going through lately. Thumbs up. Except, of course, I gotta buy plastic tubs, so there's still a lot I gotta do. Anyway, though, here, um, I, I, I need to close this off to a halt. I'm charging it, so of course I don't want to damage the the cord. Inside, USB ports are soldered to the top of circuit boards, so I don't want to break it, explaining why I'm treating it like it's made out of gold or something. Anyway, though, uh, wrong hands. <laughs> I am out of control and, and all that, so you take care and I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>